Uh, you know, guys, uh, very rare that you find uh, such detailed uh, blog articles that goes into the very depth of, you know, technical details. And this comes from uh, Allegro. I think they are a, a European tech company that is a user of Kafka. They had a problem with Kafka, especially in some of the or their P999 latencies going up to 150 milliseconds and more. And they wanted to know, like, what is going on? 150 is really slow, right? Especially if you produce a... Kafka is an append-only thing, you know? So it's really supposed to be fast. So they... And I'm going to cover this in my main channel, but I wanted to just talk about the beauty of, of these... Um, you know the tracing of the they did so they fir first started at the, at the java layer of kafka itself and they did a, implemented all sorts of you know fancy you know they started with the, with the protocol the binary protocol of kafka and they said all right this this is completely you know opaque to us opaque opaque to us and it's like we can't see anything so they built tools using tcp dump to parse the request actually so they see what is what is the start time they receive the request and what is the actually when when did they actually receive a response from the producer because that's where the slowdown happened the producers you know uh, actually producing the content right uh, so what uh, so what, what they found out is like they found out that some of the producers will you know uh, will, will achieve this 150 millisecond or one more than that and then they started okay like, what is going on here so they dove deep into the java layer i said all right there is this method when we start writing there is locking going on so we found out that when we do a write sometimes the file the the call to the write operating system write operation which of course writes to the page cache first that sometimes takes like randomly takes 150 uh, milliseconds and that led to locking there is a lock in Kafka to of course to prevent too many too many, um, uh, a lot of threads to writing to the same file the same partition to the same topic of course right you cannot you cannot have two threads do that that's just bad so they wrote all this tooling to do exactly that to find when that happened and they found that kafka is acquiring a lock to prevent that and that that lock is what's contributing even a further slowdown and but that lock only happened because well the the other thread actually locked the file because it's writing and that write is actually slow because something else so they wanted to know okay why is the write to the disk is taking 150 milliseconds that doesn't make any sense so they dug deep into that and they found out they traced the kernel this time and okay? they found out that the kernel specifically the method to journal uh, file system metadata to actually flush those changes sometimes it just rear its head and it says all right it's time for me to commit all these changes and beautifully the file system is actually very very similar to a database you know there is the wall or this they call it the journal where it records the changes that happens to the file you know and there is the metadata itself and that's the like the fat things that needs to be written to disk you know and of course just like the wall you can replay uh the changes you know that happen from the wall all the way if you can, got a crash to the to the file system and and you avoid corruption essentially so that's what you do okay so they found out that the file system itself had this problem and well, it's not really a problem it's, it's a necessity you need to flush the journal flush these you know the we call it in the database we call it flush the pages in this case we flush the journal all the way to disk and that is what's taking a long time. So they dug into deep. And this this is called the EXT4 file system. Fascinating stuff, really. Fascinating stuff. So just this is the default Linux file system. And they came up with so many, you know, they dug deep into, like, why is it slow? Because, because that some, uh, the default flush or the commit to 
flush these journals is take uh, is uh, every five seconds. Every five seconds, okay, let's flush the metadata. Let's flush all these changes that we did in the file system. And that's when you t see this 150 head. So they said, okay, we can do so much stuff here. We can reduce the flushing seconds. Like, okay, and instead of actually increasing it, if you can increase it, of course. If you increase it, the, the periodic commit will happen less frequently and you won't see those slowdowns as often. But more and more changes, just like the database, you know, it's identical to the database. Like how often do you want to flush the pages versus rely on the wall? If you delay that, you're going to have a slower startup, you know, of course, if, in case of a crash. But if you make them smaller, your writes will be a little bit faster, but you're, you'll introduce a little bit of, a, you know, uh, a lot of I.O. And they tried both of these approaches and didn't work. So they tried uh, this something called fast commit. They, that improved things a lot as well. They, oh, there's another option to disable journaling altogether. It's like, we don't care. Right? And if you disable journaling, well, you still write to the journal append only log so you can still recover but the recovery becomes so slow right so you can try that if you want but uh, recovery becomes so slow so they end up actually switching to a completely different file system called xfs and they just basically all those uh, latencies gone you know? now they didn't talk about why XF xfs actually have this uh what uh, th th of course xfs does it better but how the uh, xfs does does journaling much better than uh the uh, ext4 file system but then didn't talk about these so i'll explore that more and and i'll read the article with you guys in the bench when i get a chance of course but as i as i was walking my dog i thought i'll talk about that see you